And speaking of disputed borders, India's biggest headache is China. It is aggressive and expansionist, and it does not respect the law. China has kicked off another map war with India. It has released a new list of places. These are Indian territories, but Beijing has given them Chinese names. This list has 30 names in all. All these places are in Arunachal Pradesh. There are 11 residential areas, 12 mountains, four rivers, one lake, one mountain pass, and one piece of land. That is China's list. All of these places belong to India, but China is now calling them by Mandarin names. It's an old trick of theirs. Whenever China wants to stake claim on Indian territory, they just give it a Chinese name. It's absurd. If we start calling Hong Kong Hanumangar, it will not become Indian. But that's what China does. Beijing started releasing such lists in 2017. This is their fourth list. They say Arunachal Pradesh belongs to China. This is an Indian state in the Northeast. China calls it Zhangnan. The international community does not recognize the Chinese claim, but China does not care. It keeps releasing these lists. It keeps adding more names. The first list released in 2017 had just six names. The second one came in 2021. It had 15 Indian territories with Chinese names. The third one came in 2023. It had 11 names. And now in 2024, China has released the fourth list with 30 names. What does this tell you? China is both repeating and expanding its claims. And its tone is becoming sharper. Listen to this. Zhangnan has been China's territory since ancient times. This is an undeniable fact. Where does the so-called Arunachal Pradesh come from? That was a spokesperson from China's defense ministry. He's asking, where does Arunachal Pradesh come from? Typical wolf warrior, full of rhetoric with no basis in fact. These expanding claims and sharpening tone make one thing clear, though. They show that China is agitated. It is upset with India's improving border infrastructure. It does not like New Delhi's progress, and the progress has been significant. Last year, India launched 118 border projects. More than half of them were in Arunachal Pradesh and Ladakh. Now, these are two critical areas along the India-China border, Arunachal Pradesh and Ladakh, also among the most hotly contested regions. India is firming up its position in both these areas, and that has riled up the Chinese. One project in particular has raised eyebrows in Beijing. This is the Sela Tunnel. It was inaugurated by Prime Minister Modi himself last month. This tunnel connects Arunachal Pradesh with Assam. Assam is a neighboring state in the northeast. The tunnel connects Arunachal Pradesh with Assam. And when, when this tunnel was opened, China threw a fit. The China-India border issue remains unresolved. India has no right to unilaterally develop Zhangnan, known as South Tibet in English, which belongs to China. Beijing protested the Prime Minister's visit. It said the Indian Prime Minister had no business travelling to Arunachal Pradesh, let alone inaugurating a project. And India responded in kind. This is not a new, new issue. Uh, I mean, China has a late claim, it has expanded its claim. Uh, the claims were ludicrous to begin with, they remain ludicrous today. The claims are ludicrous. New Delhi replied to China in the same tone. It has called China's claims absurd and baseless. India has also commented on the latest list. It says China's attempt to assign invented names does not alter the reality. Arunachal Pradesh remains an integral part of India and the world supports India's position. A few days ago, this is what the United States said. The United States recognizes Arunachal Pradesh as Indian territory, and we strongly oppose any unilateral attempts to advance territorial claims by incursions or encroachments, military or civilian, uh, across the line of actual control. China slammed the U.S. for this. It said India and China can resolve their differences themselves. That's also New Delhi's position, by the way. It wants to resolve differences bilaterally and peacefully. But there's a problem. China is not serious about this. It has been provoking India and salami slicing to usurp Indian land. 
In 2020, Chinese troops attacked in Ladakh. They targeted Indian soldiers. Since then, commanders from both sides have been meeting. They've had 21 rounds of talks in four years. To what end? India keeps pushing for complete disengagement. China keeps raising tensions with more deployments, more provocations, and more lists of Indian villages with Chinese names. These are not the actions of a neighbor seeking peace. These are the traits of a devious and deceptive player. India's best bet is to stay the course, try to avoid conflict while aggressively preparing for it.